Florent Giroux's riding full time at, at Keeneland for the first time. What's that been like? Uh, it's been great, you know, and uh, get fortunate to ride uh, nice horses, competitive, and uh, be able to win races here. It's pretty nice. Uh, fans, I'm sure you kind of you guys enjoy the, how much the fans know about the sport here and how much they appreciate it, don't you? Yeah, sure. I know uh, this place is well known, you know, for a uh, lot of fans and uh, supporters who really likes uh, horse racing, and it's always uh, makes it you know better for us, you know, horsemen and species jockeys when they call you, you know, like a superstar. So it's pretty nice. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about the horse you're riding, the Lexus Raven Run, Pirates Trove, going on the dirt for the first time. Uh, how do you feel she'll handle that switch? I think she will be good. Uh, I walked over it uh, at Keeneland uh, a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago, and she breathed a very nice 59 flat, which is pretty impressive. And um, she always walked good you know, on the point walk, but you know, walking good in the morning and playing good in the afternoon is two different things. But uh, she's bred for the dirt. For the, for the dirt. I think she will end it all right, you know. So she could actually be even better than she's been on the poly. Yeah, hopefully. It's what, you, it's what you're hoping for. Um, tell me about what has impressed you through her three races so far. She's nice. You know, that's funny because uh, I had to ride her, you know, from the from the beginning before she ran and walked her uh, several weeks before she, she ran her first time. And since the first time I've been on her, I was I was very high on her. And I asked uh, Mr. Sidham to, to have the opportunity to, to ride her. And uh, I'm glad he did in his own uh, it was very nice with me, and you know, especially him giving me the opportunity to ride such a nice filly. And you know, I showed them I was right because she went by a 12 length uh, first time out, and she keep on going, winning uh, two stakes at Woodbine. Yeah, seven furlongs is obviously a little different from six. I know she's been seven once. Do you have a feel for her if she prefers one or the other? Yeah, I think she's probably better, you know, going uh, going six, seven. I think she would make it. She make it uh, a second time out. She went six and a half, seven, seven and six. Six point the best, six and a half, seven. But seven is still okay, you know, seven, turn, seven, seven, eight, one turn. She won it before at Woodbine, and she was not, like, 100% ready. You know, that was her first time shipping. Now she's here. She doesn't need to ship. So what's hopefully will help her. Let me ask you about your horse you rode opening weekend. Uh, work all week. Uh, very I- impressive. Uh, that horse, now you get to go to the Breeders' Cup sprint with him. Tell me about that last race. Yeah, that race was great, you know, as good as all the other races he, he ran before. You know, that's a horse who, who loves to win. He's 11 for uh, 14 and different tracks. Looks like he's uh, not as good on the play track than he is on the dirt because he's undefeated so far on the dirt. And uh, now he's very special horse. And you know, like I said, his best weapon is he loves to win. You know, he doesn't let anyone uh, go by him. And that's a good thing, I guess. What's... Uh what do you think it's going to feel like to ride on that, on that stage at the Breeders' Cup? They have a real chance to win a race. No, I think it's good, you know. It's just to uh, show you, you know, uh, horse makes it all different, you know. But, uh, you know, I have confidence in myself and I'm confident, you know, with my horse. And I really do think I have a very good chance to win the race. How old did you get into the business? Uh, I was, I went to the jockey school when I was 13 years old. And where was this? In France. In France. I stayed there for like uh, three years. Then I got my license when I was 16 and really started riding when I was 17. I was still a little too small to, to ride when I was 16. And I did great there, you know, I won the championship uh, apprentice and win a lot of races. And uh, I came here once, you know, in the winter time in the USA, in California, just to try it out and see if we like it. And I never left. What was the biggest challenge in adjusting from European racing and obviously dirt and poly track here? What was the biggest change for you? Yeah, I think it's the, the, the style you know, of uh, riding, you know, especially riding on the dirt because we don't have any uh, dirt track uh, over you know, in, in France or especially in, in Europe. It's mostly uh, turf, you know, 90%, and a little bit right now poly track. But uh, no, it just takes a while, you know, but uh, watching a lot of races and you know, like little by little, you know, I just took the American style and uh, no, I got it. And, you know, some people, it's funny because they say I ride better on the third than I do on the dirt, but I think I win more races on the dirt. You know, so. <laughs> and it all comes back to who you're riding on the turf or yes, the dirt, doesn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you.